New at 10, an Oklahoma man has a plan to turn the Greenwood District's tragic history into a brighter future. He's... Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. They're talking about Black Wall Street 100 fucking years ago. What tragic history? Did you... Did y'all know that they built that shit back like a few years later? Because it was nothing but like the dry cleaners and a goddamn shoe repair shop and a grocery store. Yeah, they I didn't built know that. that shit. Yeah, that, that shit was like it was like they had basically. a bank and a movie theater too. Exactly. But it was it was like it was like it wasn't like fucking skyscrapers and shit. It wasn't like Wall Street and shit. It was just a bunch of fucking businesses. You know what I'm saying? Goddamn, goddamn notary republic. A they dropped a whole bomb out of place. Uh, anyway. <laughs> what the bonky? Did they drop a bomb on the place? That's what I heard. I, I did a video. That's what I was taught. Just go ahead and check out my video. We did it. We did several videos on it. So, on the toast. We covered that multiple times here, man. Um, in depth. Shout out to Dick Roller, man. Um, but yeah. This is this is this is getting tired. Black people are getting exhausted, man. New at ten, an Oklahoma man has a plan to turn the Greenwood District's tragic history into a brighter future. He's launched Greenwood Ave magazine and just printed the second issue. I went to this talented entrepreneur's work site to find out more about his vision for the future. With this being the first one, wanted to make sure we root it in the history. Right. So we had Nehemiah Frank, who is the owner of Black Wall Street Times mm -hmm. and a descendant of Black Wall Street, actually wrote the opening piece for this. Trey Thaxton proudly shows off the first Greenwood Ave magazine, revealing the area's rich business history before and after the race massacre, along with uplifting stories of black entrepreneurs. Cedric Mitchell is actually from Tulsa, um, now runs a um, glassblowing shop in L.A., um, but his story is amazing. With his staff's hard work, they've already sold more than a thousand copies. I'm a big believer in purpose and just being a light in the world. And I want to make sure that, again, everything that we touch, the people that we work with, the products that we put out, the brands that we start all shine a light to the world. He launched his marketing and branding firm, Gold Mill Co., in 2018, then a video series. Merchandise featuring vintage logos from Greenwood history. They ship it out from their Tulsa offices. And now the magazine. So the goal is to really connect Greenwood Ave with black entrepreneurship around the globe. Fresh from Greenwood. Trey and his staff are already working on the next five years. And our goal is to um, shine. I bet that glider helping the hell out of him. Because I work his ass too. <laughs> Revenge for slavery, man. Make the glider. Glider, glider is the, um, he the brains behind the operation. He's not doing the computer shit, man. Some man don't know how to do all that computer shit, write code, coding and shit. This glad to do he 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 do all the coding. That's what that is. According to Joe Biden, he should be surprised he can't even work the internet. Right. Exactly. Oh. God, these this is some people funny shit. I hope this dude ain't married to a white woman. Please, please be married to goddamn Grace Jones or somebody. Goddamn some some mm -mm, they like, can have him. Some chick that looked like Lupita or something. They can Maybe have them. Oh, yeah, 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 ain't doing it for you, brown sugar. Mm -mm. <laughs> he ain't, he ain't thugged out enough. Yeah, that, that white boy, he cute. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the stud man, the stud yeah, man. Like, he like he got a little more swag. The white boys. <laughs> they ship it out from their Tulsa offices, and now the magazine. So the goal is to really connect Greenwood Ave with black entrepreneurship around the globe. Fresh from Greenwood. Trey and his staff are uh, already working on the next five years. And our goal is... I'm going to get beat up. My husband's staring at me. <laughs> <laughs> you got to try to... Um, oh, when you when you, when you, you got to edit that part out. You talking about <laughs> swag when you was talking about... Um, you, you was, you, you he was asleep. About... He was snoring. I look up. He's staring at me. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help you with this, but I stay out of um, I stay out of um, interpersonal business, man. Look, man, you gotta. Um, I can't take the video down. I try to I try to clip that part, man. That's the best I can do for you. We're already working on the next five years. And our goal is to 
um, shine light in different industries. So we try to plan it out. We have about four years here now. The second edition went to print last week, featuring black chefs around the world. And Trey's already eyeing his next big project, podcasts. You had to make a leap. Yes. This is my thing, though. I got to say this, man. If, if if Black Wall Street was so great and Black people is so great, you couldn't find no Black person to do this computer, to be your computer engineer or your um, web designer or your, you know, graphic designer. You... They never return his phone call. <laughs> they didn't like how much he was charging. He was too high. Yeah. <laughs> or they just didn't know how to do it. Or didn't want to keep a schedule. But black people are so great, man. They built the whole Wall Street and shit. And they black people is the greatest thing going, man. I mean, yeah, black people is all of that. You couldn't find, we should be no white people anyway. White people shouldn't even be the fucking parking attendant. It should the janitor should be black. Everybody should be black at this place, man. Hey Yock, uh <laughs> Jay Lu said it's like all it takes is two Apple Macs and some sticky notes and like and I guess I'm like lighter to get everything started. Yep. <laughs> Salute to Platinum Pig, Occupation Hall of Fame. He says, guess those sun dating apps ain't working out. <laughs> yeah, man. Those apps getting some people killed. Yeah, man. Facts. Really? Oh. Yeah. Come Two on, dudes man. dressed like women, um, robbing <laughs> man and bitch. Off a freaking dating app. Why was he acting naive and shit? Went to print last week, featuring black chefs around the world, and Trey's already eyeing his next big project: podcasts. You had to make a leap, yes, from what you knew for sure a guaranteed paycheck, and then you jumped into this for sure. Yeah, it, it is a leap for sure, but. A leap of faith and that's one thing i can I, I have is faith i know that other people's purposes are tied to ours and i know if, if somebody can look and say hey if trey can do it with a associate's degree from osu and omogi with no idea what he's doing can create a magazine can create a merch line like why can't i and for me if i can be the inspiration and light to someone else then it's a win for me now launching a business takes vision creativity hard work and money. I wanted to take a closer look at ways that entrepreneurs can launch a business in Tulsa and found there are a lot of options to help. Hold on, wait. There are a lot of options to help? That's going against the narrative, white boy. <laughs> you supposed to say, uh, there ain't enough way. They won't give black people this. They won't give black people that. That's why she said there's a lot of options. Yikes. Being a business takes vision, creativity, hard work, and money. I wanted to take a closer look at ways that entrepreneurs can launch a business in Tulsa and found there are a lot of options to help. Trey originally started Gold Mill Co. with funds from the Tulsa Economic Development Corporation, which funds many small businesses through government grants and public-private resources. To launch the magazine, he went a more traditional route, a line of credit. I talked with the banker who helped fund the Greenwood Ave project. Todd Ward, the senior vice president of commercial lending at Gateway First Bank, advises entrepreneurs. I haven't seen Trey anybody black him yet. He had a great business plan. Ward <laughs> recommends. I mean, just, just the black guy that um the the white man used doing everything. He funded it. The white woman reporting on it. Yeah, why BT ain't reporting on this? Why the the only black woman I seen was the model on a magazine. Yeah, where, where Revolt TV at, man? Why ain't nobody? Why, why is it got to be these white folk, man? This shit is insane, man. And and listen, man, most black people would see this and wouldn't notice this. They wouldn't, it would, that all of that would go over their head. But it's, it's just insane. Like everything you need. Thank God. And this is why I say, man, I like gliders, man. Because this guy, if you probably look in that magazine, there's a bunch of articles in that magazine talking cash shit about gliders, their, 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 their character, um, <laughs> the way they, the, what they, 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 they hateful, they hate black people, they racist, they systematically institutional, this and that and the third. I bet that magazine's full of that shit. And that white boy sit back and fucking created that magazine and shit. And this motherfucker is a bunch of shit about 
Like they'll give Asian people loans, they give if Middle Easterners loan, they won't give us. Yeah, loans. I saw that. I'm like, what is she talking about? Yeah, this is this is crazy. This, I this personally is, know black people who receive loans for their businesses. I know, but that Asian woman was um she was she was pandering so hard, man. That's why I said she's gonna get a bunch of eight, 90 year old Asian women knocked out. Cause black people believe that shit. And they, they want to believe it because it explains, you know, the fact that the reason we don't have businesses like that. No, because we want to open hot wing joints and everybody want to sell hair weaves. Everybody want to sell dope and shit and fucking weed and shit like that. Trey originally started Gold Mill Co. with funds from the Tulsa Economic Development Corporation, which funds many small businesses through government grants and public-private resources. To launch the magazine, he went a more traditional route, a line of credit. I talked with the banker who helped fund the Greenwood Ave project. Todd Ward, the senior vice president of commercial lending at Gateway First Bank, advises entrepreneurs. The thing Trey had going for him is he had a great business plan. Ward recommends entrepreneurs put together three years of tax returns, your personal financial statements, and balance sheets for your business. Oh, okay, yeah, well, then, yeah, that that excludes ninety nine percent of it. That's because listen, you ask them for we have to do something. We, we gotta, we gotta. Oh hell, nah, man! Just give us the money, man. I, we promise we give it back. Ain't that good enough? Handshake? Can I shake? Can we shake on it? Nah, I think we need three years of tax returns. Oh shit, son, man, yeah, that disqualifies. We ain't, we ain't. We don't, once we hear that, once we hear that, our shoulders slump and the wind just go out of our wings. You know, oh shit. Oftentimes, just it just takes opening a file and printing it. It's not that difficult. Yeah. No, but I'm saying the the prospect, the specter of it. You think know what I'm saying? Like, oh shit, personal, like. And listen, man. Listen, man. I tried to do a business plan before, man, and it's it's not easy, man. It's not easy to do a business. That's why plan you gotta pay a glider to do it. Huh? That's true. Facts. They pay a glider to do all these things. Yep. Facts. So yeah, so we should be we, we oh, back. A really extremely smart African. We back in the game now, man. Yeah, <laughs> face somebody do that shit. So I do one for him Brian is he had a great business plan. Ward recommends entrepreneurs put together three years of tax returns, your personal financial statements, and balance sheets for your business to show profits and losses. Ward says it's the paperwork that's vital to landing a loan or line of credit. But what the line of credit did for him, it allowed him to be able to use the money and repay the money and use it back again without having to come back for another loan. Now, Tulsa is also home to a number of nonprofits that advise entrepreneurs, such as 36 Degrees North, I Start, and Build in Tulsa, which focuses on minority businesses. Those are just a few. Even your local library has resources to help you get started with the business. And I put the links to all of these for you in the story on KGRH.com. Damn it, she putting pressure on the nigga. Ohio. She put the fucking links in there too. I was gonna be like, oh, I I I I couldn't find a link. She done fucking took the nigga excuse away. New at 10. An uncle. Shit. Goddamn devil. <laughs> Shit, man. Did you uh see uh Sussex, England? Uh there was a uh fifteen year old sun glider that got detained by um by uh, security and uh, then arrested and mother's all crying on Twitter. Oh, they arrested my